Hey, Tiger. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Would you mind taking a look at my powers as well? Huh? Wow! Amazing! Wow! Amazing! That's okay. You don't need to copy me. That's okay. You don't need to copy me. I'm serious. You can stop now. I'm serious. You can stop now. I'm not kidding, Origami! Oh, sorry about that. You know, that's an amazing power. You can actually shapeshift into other people. The only thing is, it's not really useful for saving people. You think so? You could shapeshift into me and use my hundred power. Not really. See, I can copy a person's appearance, but not their powers. That blows. I knew it. I'm not fit for being in the company of superheroes with powers like these. I should just quit right now and get a job. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel depressed. Could you stop crying with my face there? I... Uh, yeah, sorry. Maybe you shouldn't obsess over it. Huh? I'm sure there are some situations that your power would be perfect for. Actually, someone once told me the same thing. Huh? That someone was a friend of mine who was a next at the top of our class. But I didn't take his words seriously. Really? But the guy never went on to become a hero. The fact that you became one is important. It means that you were better suited for this work than he was. That's not true. Of course it is. No, really, you're mistaken. Uh, don't be so modest. Believe me, I'm telling the truth. What? He should have become the hero, not me. Cyclone, of course, like all SHG guards. A little bit of tape on the side, remove it, slide it out. This is actually a double shell, which we'll get to in a moment. But of course, we have to look at all the pack ins. So we've got our little silver sheet here, we've got the instruction manual, and then we've got this interesting double shell. And this again, this retails for about the same price as the others, and it comes with a SH figure art stand. We'll look at that first. So about the same as all the other ones that we have gotten. It has a little self-clip one. It's got the base, which of course you can clip, change the clip out points if you like. Saying Origami Cyclone, Ivan Kirillin, it looks like. We have got the articulated stand here. And we've got the little pieces. And then peg into our little holder here. Now let's look at actual origami cyclone. He comes with this shell for his two versions of his back shuriken. There's this version, which is actually used for clipping onto his back, and there's a version for him to hold. Set those aside, set that aside, go over to the actual clamshell that has origami cyclone in it. Always kind of annoying opening these things, but I'm afraid stuff's going to go flying out. Sometimes it actually does. Careful, careful, careful. Ah, there we go. There's the container. You see he's got a small hand shuriken, a couple of katanas. 
got this. This is actually the back plate that plugs into his back to for when he's not having a shuriken back there. He's got his regular hands. I think they might be shuriken holding hands, but I'm not quite sure. A couple of splayed open hands. A couple of closed hands. And these are a little bit different. They, At first glance, they look like they might be some weird messed up hand, but they're not. I'll get to them in a moment. So, first off, let's talk about... Wotagomi Cyclone, Ivan. So pretty good articulation on the head, pretty standard. It's a ball joint, it isn't an extended joint like on our good friend Rock Bison. He has got some, he's got some standard ball joints, let's see if I can get the camera in there, to peg these on, but you really can't move the shoulder braces that much. They're mainly just there to keep them out of the way. So you can move them a bit, but it's not for like super movement, it's just so you can keep them out of the way when you're positioning the arms. And yes, that is supposed to look like flesh tones, but it's not supposed to be flesh tones. In the show, it's a full suit of body armor with this fake flesh on it to go to complete his look. He is in a full, fully contained, full body, powered armor. Let's get this little bit of plastic off of him. There we go. There we go. You can see he's designed after traditional samurai. Swivel here. Ball joint in the shoulder. Very nice clean ball joint. See the back, you can actually see the butterfly joint in there. Double jointed shoulders, which give you full range, full collapsible range. You can go full connection. Swivel at the wrist. Same thing on the other side, just with different paint apps. No head articulation, though there shouldn't be since it's a full body helmet. Get these arms out of the way. So he's got his little skirt pieces that are articulated, like the previous skirt pieces we've seen. This is a uh, flexible material, so it shouldn't get in the way. You can flip the skirt up in the back, skirt up in the... So all of the skirt pieces can be articulated up a bit, in some degree. Uh, let's take a look at chest articulation. Is that actual metal? I think that actually might be metal. For the little class here. It's, you know, it's pretty simple metal. Now he doesn't actually have a waist joint, so his chest articulation is pretty limited, but I presume an armor like that it probably would be. That forward back, that forward. It could go to the side, and the side, rotation, and all that. can go out that far, maybe a little bit further if we were to pop the skirt pieces off. That far forward, which is actually pretty good. He's got pretty far forward rotation. You can go a little bit back, good degree back. For a character who's based on a ninja, he is quite flexible, as we can see here. Double jointed knee that can nearly kick himself. It feels and looks sort of like this thing should be able to fold back. but I don't think it is. He's got a molded on knee plate and that I am going to assume is gonna be removable. Unless they've glued it on. Yeah, it looks like it's glued on. It looks like it's not gonna fall off like the other two we've looked at. He's got waist articulation. Go that for far back. Pretty good length forward. No toe action joint. And doesn't look like there's anything else special here. No special tricks that they've done, like pulling it to make it a lot longer or whatever, so no. That looks about the range of that, but it's got some great articulation, as you can see here. Now, let's look at the key points here. Right 
him out, get him standing up. Come on, Ivan. Stand up for your audience. Let them see you. While I get to your pieces. So you have two options if you want to put the shuriken on his back. Or rather, you have two options for the shuriken on his back. You have a little peg here, a little piece here. Stick that on there, and it looks like he's removed the shuriken, and he's just got the, the holder back there. So you can hold it in his hand. Trying to see if there's little holes in his hand to hold the shuriken, but it doesn't look like there is. I'm sure one of his alternate hands is designed for that. It is a sharp piece, like most figure arts. Or, if you prefer, you can peg it onto his back. Of course, you can twist it however you like. He's got two katanas, very nicely painted and detailed. The other one's exactly the same. Little mini shuriken. Get the other katana out. Get all his hands out. So he's got posy hands. The alternate, the other posy hand. Ah, yes. Now I can see it. This is the empty one for holding the shurikens, whether large or small. It's got two of those. So you can have them carrying the large shuriken in one hand and the small shuriken in the other. And then we get to these interesting little pieces, which are actually a bit different than what you might expect. You see, the swords can actually be pulled off from their pegs. Interestingly, the base plastic for the swords is this flesh tone. It's kind of different. There we go. Pull that out. And basically what you're going to do is peg them onto these little things here. happens is if you turn Ivan around and look at the back, you'll notice two tiny little pegs in his back. Let me pull off uh, his big shuriken. And that is so you can actually attach his shuriken, his uh, swords, to his back. And they're on little articulated arms. You can tilt them out any way you like. These are square pegs, so you won't be able to turn them. They can only go in one way. It's a little tricky getting this other one in there, but it should get in there in a second. See if I can get the other one in there a little bit easier. Oh, you get the idea. They're designed so you can peg his swords into the back. Like so. And you can articulate them out however you like. So he's got his swords actually sheathed in his back. And you could do something like... Just a good sword holding hand? Probably not. Hold on. Looking at our sword piece here. Trying to grab one of his, sword, his hands that's used for holding things. Just slip the sword in there.
take that little peg off, reattach the blade, other way, otherwise he'll be attacking with the blunt end of the sword. Pop off Ivan's wrist, attach the hand, and now we've got Ivan carrying one of his swords. I personally would have it like this, so he's actually got the sheath sword on the same side, because usually the easiest way to tilt that around a bit, get to something like that and pull it out, is not to so much reach behind you, but to reach over to the other side, so he'd be pulling it out from here. The other one being on the opposite side, so of course you do a crossbow. Now of course you could do it the other way around, but for me that seems the, mo the easiest, lo most logical way of doing it. And of course we can switch out his big his other hand here with his other item holding hand. And we can give him any one of these things. We can go with the giant shuriken, for example. Just wedge it in there. And he's got one big, yeah, shuriken back there. A tiny little shuriken in his back. No, just kidding. <laughs> or we can stick the mini shuriken in there. It's a sharp item. Be careful with that. Yeah, we can stick it in there, with them ready to toss it. Using the various swivels and whatnot, it could have been a nice action-y pose. And there you have Ivan. And of course you can mix and match these as you like. He is a very heavily armed superhero. There you go, folks. Ivan. Origami Cyclone. Peace out.